guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day if you are new here i would love if you guys subscribed and joined the family and if you're not new thank you so much for coming back for another video this week as you guys know i have recently been on a roll with uploading two videos a week i currently have a video going up every thursday at 7 p.m and also another video going up every sunday at 7 p.m as well too and to differentiate the two different types of videos that i currently have going up i figured i would give you a very quick lowdown as to like how it's gonna work so thursdays are gonna be my vlogs and then Sunday is going to be more of like an in-depth talk type of sesh. So on Thursdays you'll be able to see a little peek into my life. If I take you guys to around to like an event or on a trip somewhere or if I'm doing like a fun activity, that's where you can see all that stuff. And then my Sunday videos are going to be all about kind of discussions for my fashion hauls, my recent purchases, or any sort of like deep dives into topics that I want to talk to you guys about. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. All right, so today's video is actually going to be a mango try-on haul. I have not purchased from Mango in a long, long, long time. I think the last time I purchased from Mango when I was actually in Spain, this was about a whole year ago, and I just bought like a t-shirt from there because I walked in because Mango was so cheap. But we actually used to have Mango in Canada a long time ago. There used to be apparently a store in Eaton Center. I remember visiting it when I was in high school, and I would drive all the way to Toronto on like school field trips or weekend trips with my family and shopping in there, but now it's gone, so we don't have access to it in Canada anymore. Luckily though, they have a free shipping online for Canadians, and I've seen a lot of my friends shop from there recently. I'm kind of bored of Zara, not to say that I'm hating on Zara or anything, because there's a ton of stuff that I really love, and I think I might be making a big purchase again soon because they have some beautiful spring stuff, but I find that everybody and anybody owns Zara, and anytime I buy something and I wear it, I literally see somebody else on the street wearing it as well too, and it just doesn't feel unique or special anymore. So I decided, you know what? Everybody seems to be trying mango as well now too, but not too many people are doing it yet. Let's give it a go and see how it goes. So when I made this purchase, Mango's actually having an additional 20% off of their sale prices. You heard me right, 20% off. I was super, super, super enticed. I find that the mango prices are a little bit pricier than Zara in general, but that doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. All in all, I found that the quality of mango is relatively reasonable and comparable to Zara, but sometimes I do find that the quality is a little bit better, although I can't really justify spending that much on a pair of pants or sweater, so I always try to take a look at their sale stuff when they have an additional sale on top of it, and this time was perfect. Let's take a deep dive into what I got. It comes in like a big bag like this, which is kind of cool. All right, so since I did purchase stuff during a sale, and I mentioned that it was 20% off on top of a regular price, let's go through and count how many items I purchased in total. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, and after tax and everything in together, it came out to a total of $352.95. Now, that might sound like a lot, but for seven items, that averages out to about $50 a piece. Granted, some pieces were a lot more expensive, some of them were a lot cheaper, but I think $50 on average per piece is like pretty okay. It might be pricier than what you guys are used to spending, but I don't know, in like the recent state of shopping that I've seen, everywhere that I walk into, like Urban Outfitters, H&M, Zara, everything is over 50 bucks to begin with already. So I think this is a good steal. Without boring you guys, I'm gonna jump right into what I purchased from the Mango sale. Because this is also the first time I've really purchased a lot of stuff from Mango, I'm also gonna give you guys like a try on style haul session to give you my thoughts on all the pieces that I purchased, whether or not I'm gonna be keeping them, and some ideas as to how you can wear them as well too if you wanna get these pieces for yourself. First off are these corduroy trousers. They're in this like olivey brown tone. It's not completely brown, but it's also not completely olive as well. I'd say it's an in-between. And as you can see, it's like a corduroy material. It is super, super, super cute. I don't have anything in my closet that looks like this at the moment, so I thought this would be a good purchase to kind of invest in. I do love that the bottom is a very like straight leg with a little bit of a tiny flare, which is super trendy right now, especially if you wear them with soft boots. So you get a lot more coverage, and because of the wider leg, it's a lot more comfortable than skinny jeans. So let's get these on and show you what they look like. When I tried on these pants, I found that they were, as I said, extremely comfortable, and they fit super well as well too. The waist comes up perfectly on me, and I found that it cinched me in really nicely to give me a small little waist. Pockets are always essential on pants, and I love that these ones are relatively deep enough that I can shove in my phone and my Presto car whenever I'm going out somewhere so that I don't have to lose them. The material itself is also super soft, which is such a plus, and I especially love that the bottom has not that evident of a hem, so it's kind of nice because it looks as if it's just been cropped off at the bottom, but there is no raw hem there. So are these 
these pants going to be a keep for me? You guys are going to have to wait till the end to find out what exactly I decided to keep and what I'm going to return. Next up on my purchase is this striped sweater. And if you guys have already seen my Zaffle sweater haul, then you're probably like, Vic, why are you buying more sweaters? You already said that you have way more than enough. Yes, I did say that. And then, yes, I also admitted that I have a sweater problem. So it's really hard for me to stray away from sweaters. And when I see a sweater on a good deal online with a sale on top of a sale, it's very hard for me to say no. So I snatched this cute sweater off of Mango. <sighs> Look at the colors on it. It's so cute. You guys know that these are colors that I love. A bright shade in the middle, a nice pink, white, and the blue and the gray. To be honest, this looks very, very, very similar to a sweater that I currently own that I picked up from Marshalls as well too. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this but I still do want to try it on and see how it fits. It's super soft and the knit is like not really tight either. So I know I'm going to love it the minute I put it on. Hopefully it's not itchy because if it is, then that's definitely going to help me to make my decision as to whether or not I'm going to keep or return it. This sweater fits really, really nicely. It is, as I predicted, to be quite soft in the inside. If you guys are sensitive to materials like this, though, I would just highly recommend that you throw on a quick little tank top underneath to protect your skin against the wool knit. The sweater itself is not wool. It is 77% acrylic. So if you are allergic to wool or you don't like the feeling of it, you won't have that scratchiness. It is definitely quite soft, but I would still recommend adding that extra layer in between if you do find that your skin is sensitive to materials like this. I love the sweater up until I saw what was going on between the armpit and the sleeves and the chest part. Like, why do you disconnect the pink from the pink stripe? It just looks so weird that there's that white little stripe in the center there. I kind of felt like that could have been done without that extra stripe and if you just connected the pink directly to the white it would have looked so much cuter. I've never seen any sort of striped sweater that I own that looks like this at all and to me it kind of feels like it calls a lot of attention to your armpits which I mean I don't hate my armpits but I just don't like how it draws the attention of the eye to there so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this sweater although I do love how it looks and how it's gonna style with jeans but <sighs> You'll just have to wait till the end to see. Next up on the chopping block, this was something I was extremely, extremely excited for. So let's see how it fares. So I also picked up another pair of corduroy trousers. These are pink ones, and I purchased these for $71.67, which I think is a huge steal as well. You'll often see pants like this in Zara or other stores for at least like $150 to $200, so I think that was worthwhile. It comes with like a kind of pleat down the center, so you can definitely get away with wearing this in the office. I know online they had a matching blazer that goes with it as well too. Unfortunately, the blazer didn't come in my size, and I really, really, really wanted that blazer, but I couldn't get it. <laughs> so if you can get your hands on the blazer and the trousers, I would highly recommend wearing this in the office because it would be such a chic business look with kind of like a touch of fashion flair to it since it's corduroy and not your typical texture that you see in the office. I love the tone of pink of this. I don't know the wearability of it just because I don't often wear pink pants outside all the time, but I think this would be such a cute statement trouser to have if you ever want to wear like a very plain white t-shirt or a plain white blouse and just kind of like spruce it up with something that's a little bit different out of the ordinary and will catch people's eye. When I tried on these trousers. I got the exact same size as the other olive brown pair. They're both a size 2. Since the brown pair fit me, I assume this one also fit me as well too. Oh no, 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 no. I was very, very wrong. So these trousers are way too big on me. And they honestly look like they should be a size 4 at least. I'm typically a size 0. And because the brown one fit me, I assume that one is similar to 0. Whereas these ones are like 2 sizes too big and they're massive. As you can see, they're also way too long. Really not loving the fit, although I can honestly envision what it would look like if these trousers fit me perfectly. And they look really cute, so I'm super sad because uh, these definitely would have been a keep in my closet if they had fit me well. Next up in the roll of pink, kind of, <laughs> is this lilac lavender blazer that I also picked up. And this came out to a total of $62.71, which I think is a great price for a blazer. Granted, it's not super lined. There is like a satin layer underneath, so it's not totally see-through. It is still relatively thin, so I wouldn't necessarily count on this as being an overly structural office appropriate blazer, although you can still get away with it if you have a casual office setting. I think this is more appropriate for like everyday wear if you kind of want to get that lived-in boyfriend blazer look. This would pair really nicely with some like light wash denim jeans. I love the fit of this. I'm going to show you what it looks like on me. This color is really, really cute. 
The only problem is I don't wear a lot of pastel colors, so I don't know what the wearability of this shade is going to look like on me. I do love the fit though. It's nice and boxy and there's pads in the shoulders, so it really gives you that boxier look. Although I'm not too sure that I would wear this too frequently. This is probably going to be going back. We'll see. Next up on the topping block is this headband trend that I have been seeing everybody rocking and I've wanted to get my hands on it, but everywhere that I look, it is always ridiculously expensive. So when I found it on sale at Mango, I was like, you know what? Let's just try it. I'll purchase it. If I don't like it, I'll return it. And you know what? I think I may keep this one. This may sound a little bit pricey. It came out to a total of $17.91, but it is this little cute knotted fabric headband that I've been seeing everywhere online. I've seen some stunning ones in like velvet and like satin and silk as well too, but this looks really cute from afar. I was honestly expecting this headband to be a lot thicker, but it's literally just a single thin wire going through the top with fabric that's sewn onto it so that it looks like it's a thick headband, which I actually don't mind because I find that thick headbands usually don't stay too well on my hair and they slide off all the time because my head's just not the right shape for it. So because it is a thinner one, I'm gonna have a much easier time trying to style this one. So let's try it on and show you guys what it looks like. With this headband on, I'm getting some major Blair Waldorf vibes. I used to be super, super obsessed with Gossip Girl when I was in middle school, high school. I read all the books. I watched every episode of the show. I probably bought at least 20 to 30 headbands purely out of influence of Blair Waldorf. And as much as I love this trend, and I think this is a great affordable version of the headband, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it just because the giant knot in the center kind of makes me look like I have a huge lump on the top of my head. And unless I style my hair to have a lot of volume on the sides, it looks a little strange to me. And it's such an affordable piece that I'm not, it's, I'm just on the fence as to whether or not I should keep this. This is such a hard decision. We are on to item number six now. So next up on the topping block is this super cute raffia, rattan, I don't know what the name of this is called, this type of belt that I saw on Mango. If you guys are familiar with the brand Cult Guy, then you know that they absolutely love everything kind of like raffia, rattan, very nature inspired for their accessories. And I got huge Cult Guy vibes when I saw this belt online which is exactly the reason why I threw it into my shopping cart immediately. Granted, they didn't have my size anymore. I purchased a medium, which is why it's not gonna fit me, but I do love it so much. And I think this would be a great belt to kind of cinch in the waist of any oversized sweater or dress or like flowy kind of silk shirt that you have to really give it that extra island feel. I really wanted this belt to work. And unfortunately, I'll tell you guys right off the bat because I already tried it on before I even got a chance to film this video because I was so excited for it. This, I'm sad to say that I was really let down because it doesn't fit me. What sucks even more is that I can't just go in and punch my own holes if I go see a cobbler just because the belt is like this strange material. So I'm really afraid that if I was to punch in my own holes, it would cause the rattan to kind of like unravel and damage the entire belt. So I think this is honestly gonna just go straight back to Mango, but I'll still style it with a couple of outfits that I have just to give you an idea of what it would look like if I was to keep it. And you guys now know that I will definitely be on the hunt for another belt that's similar to this. So if you have any recommendations, send them your way because your girl's looking. I also forgot to mention guys that this belt is $31.35, which I think is a decent price for a belt. So if you're on the hunt for one as well too, I'll leave a link down below so you can also purchase this belt for yourself before it completely sells out. Last thing in my order is also something else I was very excited for receiving. And I know a lot of you guys are going to think I am insane and crazy because these are kind of out there, but I've seen these boots on so many other bloggers on Instagram and just like online and I love, love, love how they look. So I definitely want to get them for myself. When I first looked online, I think they were about $130 and I didn't really want to bite the bullet for a trendy pair of boots for that price. So I kind of put it out of my mind. I was like, you know what? I don't have it within my finances right now to really justify purchasing a pair of boots that look like this for that price. So let's just not even worry about it. Lo and behold, I came back online when they had the sale on top of sale, and you know what? The boots were in stock in my size, so I bit the bullet and purchased them. These are my brand new thigh-high snakeskin boots. I know these look super, super extra, but trust me, paired with the right outfit, they look absolutely amazing. I'm going to insert some photos of some other bloggers that I've seen online wear these boots as well too and what really convinced me that I needed them in my closet because they're stunning. I put on the boots and I've tried them on with a couple different outfits just to really show you guys how versatile these boots are. Yes, they are animal print. Yes, it is snake skin. And yes, it does look a little crazy. But trust me guys, if you do animal prints right, you can definitely pull them off as neutrals and they will match with so many of your outfits. Then I would highly recommend starting off with blacks, lots of blacks and maybe even a lot of white just because black and white don't really scream anything crazy and they definitely always help to neutralize any sort of crazy print that you have going on in your outfit. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. That was my first kind of review slash try on slash styling session for Mango. I really liked a lot of the pieces as you can tell. 
but at the same time a lot of the other pieces also did have their cons as well too all in all i think i'm going to keep the boots the headband and the corduroy pants everything else unfortunately is going to be sent back just because i don't foresee them having a lot of wearability in my closet or they just didn't really fit me right Ooh, dust and i don't want to keep clothes around that i'm never going to wear so they're going to be shipped right back Fortunately, I looked online and Mango has like a great return policy. They even send somebody to come pick up your package for you, from Canada Post at least, if you need to return stuff, which, I mean, bless up. I don't have to make a trip all the way back to some store like other stores require me to, and it's super easy and convenient to do, so that's great. That being said, would I purchase from Mango again? Probably. I would honestly just wait until their sale season comes around again or whenever they have a sale on top of sale just because I found that these prices were so good. The shipping was quick, it was free, and the return policy is so easy as well too. It makes me feel as if I can just like shop and have everything delivered to my house without this store even existing in Toronto, which is phenomenal. And I definitely think it's a model that a lot of other retailers need to really jump on to make their e-commerce platforms a lot more accessible to consumers worldwide. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do love these sort of styling sessions that I include into my videos as well too. It's a fun way for me to really kind of showcase how I would envision each piece fitting into my wardrobe and to give you a rough idea as to different outfits that you can create together with them as well too, in case you're thinking of purchasing them, but you're on the fence because you're not sure as to how it's gonna fit. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and coming back and watching my videos every week, guys. I would absolutely love it if you joined the fam and subscribed. Hopefully I'll see you guys around again next week and make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this so I can keep making more of them for you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, yeah.